Hello and welcome, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Drum Machine Course, Bitwig Studio 2. And let's take a look at a few different ways that we can actually load the drum machine before we go any further in the course. So a couple different scenarios to actually get one loaded for us. So we can load it to an instrument track, which I have right here that's blank. That's one way we can actually just go to our menu. Actually, I'm going to cancel that. Let's go over here to this menu. Let's pull this guy open. And we've got our categories, and it's going to be under Container, Drum Machine. And we just simply drag it down here to the open space, or we can drag it right up to the um, channel up here as well. So either one, I'll drop it here, and there it is. Currently it's blank, it has no sounds loaded. But one of the other ways that we can load this guy is if there is no channel, instrument channel, this is an audio channel that we'll use here in a moment, but let's say there's nothing, we can just drag out here in the open and Bitwig will create a channel for us and load the drum machine. And again, it's blank with no sounds. So let's say we wanted to load one with some audio. You can go over here to your um, presets and you can pick a kit from your drum machine categories. There's different kits. So let's say we'll pick the barefoot kit. And again, I can drag it out here somewhere if I want to an open channel, one already existing or down here. So I've got it down here. Now it comes loaded with some different adjustments that we can make for the sounds. And it also has our kit for this, our, our sounds for this uh, specific barefoot kit that can be triggered by some MIDI notes. So that's a couple ways you can load one. And what we can also do here is I've got an audio loop right here. It's just a simple little drum beat. Let me see if it'll play for us. We can actually convert that to a drum machine as well, simply by right clicking, going down to slice to drum machine. And it's gonna ask us how many slices and at what division. So I'm not gonna really focus on that right now. Just hit okay. And it takes a little bit of time to process. And here it is right here, all the MIDI notes ready to be triggered. And here are all our sounds from that loop. So that's another way to add a drum machine to your project. Let me go ahead and get rid of this guy. We can get rid of this guy now. And you can also, let's see if there's any other ways that I'm thinking of that I might have missed. So drag over here, drag to the open. We can um, convert a loop. And that's uh, for, I guess, good enough for now. That's kind of really the only only ways you need to know. Anyhow, just getting one fired up and one into place is a pretty simple process. Let's go ahead and um, move on to the next tutorial and start taking a look at uh, a little bit more of the drum machine in further detail. All right.